Hey everyone. So imagine you go in for your visa interview and after all that preparation, the consular officer or the immigration officer overseeing your visa interview and your visa application ultimately denies the case. What do you do? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. So make sure to stick around. Hey everyone, U.S. immigration lawyer Michael Ashuri here. And as I mentioned in today's video, I want to talk about what you should do in the unfortunate event that your visa application ultimately gets denied. The first thing that you should know is that generally when a visa gets denied, the recourse that you have is basically to reapply. Now, ultimately, when you reapply, it's imperative to know what you need to do to improve your application. And in order to know that, you need to know why the application was originally denied. Was the application denied because the immigration officer felt that you did not satisfy one of the requirements? For example, for a visitor visa, you are required to overcome the presumption of immigrant intent. You have to satisfactorily convince the immigration officer that you are not an intending immigrant to the United States and that you truly plan to just visit the United States. So was your visa application denied because you didn't successfully do that again in that example or did the consular officer determine that you're ineligible or you're inadmissible to the united states for some reason for example maybe you had a prior issue with overstaying a visa in the past and now you might be subject to some sort of bar from re-entering the united states is that the case and it's very important for you to understand ultimately what the reason was why the visa application got denied because as i mentioned your recourse is essentially to reapply. And when you're reapplying, you need to know what you need to fix with the application. Is it just presenting some documentation more strongly? Or is it something entirely different? For example, in the example that I just mentioned where there was an issue with a prior overstay, do you need to apply for some sort of a waiver to overcome that grounds for inadmissibility. And all of this comes down to what the basis was for the denial. So oftentimes when an immigration officer will deny a case, they may provide you with some sort of documentation that specifies the grounds for the denial, but sometimes they won't. And that's where it's beneficial for you, depending on the circumstances, to ask the immigration officer to elaborate on the basis for the denial so that ultimately you have a better understanding and you can communicate that with your immigration lawyer to develop a game plan for reapplying and to better understand whether it makes sense to reapply for this particular visa or if there's potentially another visa that might be more suitable for you. So there you have it. If the visa gets denied, you wanna make sure to understand why the visa got denied. And from there, strategize with your immigration lawyer to determine whether it makes sense to reapply for this visa, whether you're gonna be required to apply for a waiver of some kind, whether it makes sense to apply for another visa or a different sort of immigration benefit and ultimately go from there. So hope you like this video. Hope you found this information helpful. As always, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.